Freaks is an incredible film, but it's very uncomfortable to watch. And when I say it's an incredible film, I mean what it set out to do was brilliant. The actual development of the narrative I thought was a bit stilted and it wasn't that exciting. Watching it now, when it was released in 1932, it obviously feels very dated if it was re-released now. Well, I don't think it would be because I think we're just too insanely PC at the moment that this just would not be released. But there are things about it that I think would have de been done better over the years. But what it's trying to do and what it's setting out to do is such a good thing. And that's why I really enjoy watching this. But it's also quite difficult to watch because of the treatment of the characters. This was released, as I said, in 1932 and it's directed by Todd Browning and written by Clarence Aaron Todd Robbins. And the description from IMDb is as follows. A circus's beautiful trapeze artist agrees to marry the leader of sideshow performers, but his deformed friends discover she is only marrying him for his inheritance. The title freaks his tongue in cheek. The film, oh, sorry, the, I guess the director and the team behind this do not think that these people are freaks. Society thinks these people are freaks. We know circuses used to use these so called freaks, basically just humans who either look a bit different or act a bit different to the rest of us and that would become an attraction. People who are very small, very tall, you know, things like the pig-faced lady and things like that. Genuine human beings with genuine feelings. And the film puts these people together and we can see them being treated sometimes quite poorly. And because as an audience member we react to that, that makes us know that this is not okay. And that it's not right to do that. And it kind of reinforces the fact that actually this would have to stop. And this can't go on forever. And I really like what the film was trying to do. The narrative itself, as I said, is not that interesting. I wasn't really bothered about the outcome. The development was okay. The pacing was fine. It wasn't the most predictable ending. But I think the appeal with this film is the shock factor. Because... Nowadays, certainly, it's not normal for us to watch a circus where they're showcasing Siamese twins and a girl without arms and, and these things that they would have considered to be freaks of human nature at the time. Maybe the appeal at the time was the fact that they don't see these kind of people that often, obviously, days before the internet... This may be the only chance where you get to see a Siamese, chin, Siamese twin. Siamese chin? And then it would deliver the message saying, well, actually, this isn't right. And you shouldn't treat people differently because of who they are. And I think that's a very powerful thing that the film does. I, I was concerned when I started watching this the first time. I've seen it a few times. And I did think, well, is this going to be really offensive? But it, it isn't offensive in the sense that it sets out to offend these so-called freaks. It does it in a very tongue-in-cheek way, and I think it does it very well. We have things like dwarfs and the Siamese twins. But the great thing is that these are genuinely these people. There is a person with dwarfism. We do have the Siamese twins. And it's great to be able to give them that role and give them the chance to perform because, let's be honest, there are not that many roles written for Siamese twins. I think there were Siamese twins in Big Fish. Other than that, I don't think I've seen them in anything. It's not exactly the most popular character type. Freaks is brilliant. The narrative, as I said, it didn't do much for me, but the performances were brilliant. The message was great. The feeling of the film was partially uncomfortable, partially or mostly very powerful. I genuinely like the film. I would thoroughly recommend it. I don't want to see a remake because I don't know how that would work without just getting a load of hate and backlash. But I think this is a film that unfortunately will be relevant for a very, very long time because prejudice will continue to happen. People will continue to be branded freaks. And this film... <laughs> It's something that will really make you think and question our attitudes.